When we come to this reimagining online education, there's really two modes that our educators are looking through. The first is asynchronous and the second is synchronous. Asynchronous means it's like on demand. It's things that we do and create learning experience and resources and students can take part in them when they like. This uh, gives the students a whole lot of uh, power as how they track through our learning experiences through the week and days. The second is synchronous experiences. This is that uh, very special moment where students and teachers are kind of in the room. They're in the same teaching moment together and we want to recover that and hold on to that in the online setting. We need to realise that this is a whole new way of teaching it, a new way of leveraging all the opportunities that online education provides. So that means that all our educators are really rethinking, reimagining, redesigning and remaking uh, their teaching uh, for the online setting. You'll find there's lots of things that you can do to take part in it. Firstly, this is empowering. We see that uh, you guys are really able to uh, take control of your learning, whether it's through deciding when and on what device and at what time and with who are the people online that you're going to engage with our learning materials when it's asynchronous. And the second thing is we see that there's lots of ways that you can be a part of this education experiences. And we already know that you're fantastic at it. We've seen lots of students just like you, uh, whether it's uh, getting involved in online chats, sending videos, uh, organising uh, other materials, taking photos of things, uh, creating content and then pushing that into the learning environment and taking part of all of those uh, experiences with groups and the teaching staff, it's fantastic to see. This new and challenging phase of education needs new and dynamic thinking to continue to deliver the highest quality education for our students in the business school.